Hello knitters, this is Barbara Benson and I'm getting ready to go into the Atlanta Spring Fling. I've never done this before so the uh, sound might be complete rubbish and if it is I'll try to maybe do subtitles or something and I will see if I can find any fun stuff inside for us to look up. Thank you. Hello. Hi, we're here with Cindy of Stony Hill Fiber Arts and she does awesome cotton yarns that are really cool and I'm gonna let her tell you about them so I'm gonna try to do this without making anyone sick okay here we go I'm working with uh, the Texas uh, Organic Cotton Marketing Association farmers which is uh, approximately 35 families in the Lubbock area of Texas that produce organic cotton yarn and I'm also working with mills in North Carolina and Georgia to spin the cotton it's organically grown. A little bit comes from California, and it's spun in, in North Carolina, and it's plied in Forsyth, Georgia. I write designs and hand dye the yarns to uh, create different things with them. I also sell roving and sliver. What is sliver? Sliver is a form in, with animal fibers a lot of times that's called roving. With the, um, in cotton that form is called sliver. This is sliver. Oh, she's got it for me. Ooh, so it's after it's cotton it's, it's, it's made into sliver. Oh, how cool. And that's for hand spinners to work with. Could you do it on a spindle? Absolutely could. Okay, spindle, definitely spindle. Charka, um, wheel. I also have some of Sally Fox's right here. Sally Fox is naturally colored cotton. Grows in the field in greens and browns. She's a rock star, worked over 30 years. Very this cool. Line. We blended it 50 50 with white organic. 50 50 with white organic. Yeah, I'm repeating some things because I don't know if the mic's going to pick all this up. This is organic Pima grown uh, by Don Cameron in the San Joaquin Valley of California. He does both traditional and uh, organic farming. Cool. That, that was carted at NC State University. Spun and um, Philadelphia. I did cross the Mason Dixon for that one. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much. Can you tell people where they can get this yarn? StonyhillFiberArts.com. Okay, Thanks. thank you so much. Okay, so these awesome bags. We have Bobbin Work Studios. I'll put some contact information in the description. But I just bought one of these awesome bags. Look how cool the shape is. And they're fabulous, fabulous colors. This is really cool because of the shape. It opens up and it'll stand by itself so you can knit through it. And then she has these awesome, she calls them ball sack bags that are a different shape. Ooh. And I, you gotta see this. Look at this. He's got a skeleton on it. It's awesome. He's died from boarding, boring knitting, apparently. It says, eat quick and easy knitting projects. So very, very boring. <laughs> But these are fabulous and I wanted to show them to you. Hi, here we are again. I am with Sharon of Camelid Cottage and we are here to look at her awesome stuff. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you guys have here? Well, Karen and I both uh, uh, raise alpacas, and Karen also has Southdown baby doll sheep, and I also have German Angora rabbits, so all, most all of our yarn comes from our animals. And it's all super fuzzy. It's all, most of it's super fuzzy. We do carry some uh, bamboo. Bamboo. And some organic cotton. Ooh, is the, how much bamboo is in here? Is this all bamboo? That's 100% bamboo. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen 100% bamboo. Very soft. It is. It's very it's soft. I didn't expect it. It's so drapey. Okay. And then we also have Italian silk. It's mulberry silk, which Ooh. means the worms only eat mulberry leaves. Very cool. It's very shiny, and it's also very, very soft. It's gorgeous. Next to this fuzzy stuff. I love fuzzy. The colors are beautiful. Thank you. We hand dye all of our yarn. You guys so do the dyeing? Or? We do all wow. the dyeing. So anything in our booth that's in color, we've dyed it Fantastic. ourselves. So is there anything, oh, and are these maybe undyed? These are all the natural shades. Can oh, push and, that back. oh, look at that, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Look at this piece. And that's a piece by Varian Brandon, who is just a fabulous Fair Isle designer. So soft. 
in all these different colors. So that means you have animals in all these different colors, right? Alpacas come in more natural colors than any other fiber-bearing animal. How cool. And it looks like you sell stuff for people to spin with. We have the spinning. These are roll legs, but we also have roving. Oh, let's walk over here. Do, 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 do. Very cool. So, if somebody wanted some of this, how would they get a hold of you? Well, we have an online store called Camel Lip Cottage. It's at camelipcottage.com. We also put on the Georgia Fiber Festival in Columbus, Georgia every September. So we have a cool. booth there, and we also go to SAP. Excellent. Well, come check them out. It's really cool stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so, <laughs> so these are sock blanks. They're super cool. Let me see if I can get shots of them. And what it is, is it's a pre-knit stockinette strip that has enough yarn in it to knit a pair of socks. And this one's doubled up so that your socks are gonna match. And then you have ones that are single it's just one big long strand. But you'll see these are cool because the dyer has dyed them into beautiful colors and then stenciled or stamped or did something to put these cool patterns on, which will disappear when you uh, unravel it, but will be like pops of color. And the dyer herself is right here. This is Gail I'm from here. Gail's Art and she is selling awesome yarn and she also does a lots of um is this roving or top or what top. do you mm -hmm. i don't know anything dyed about top. spinning but that is a dyed top and she sells a lot of spinning stuff but anything you want to show us gail uh sure the um my newest sock blank that i'm doing is called an extreme sock blank extreme this is fun because it's very bright on one side oh wow but it's not so bright on the other side. Oh, cool. So when you knit it up, you get this, which is just like gray oh, and wow. white with spots of color. That's gorgeous. Yes. The, all the colors just kind of fade away into little dots. Very cool. Very cool. And then I do a whole, all kinds of yarn. This is MYS. Yeah, this is, I've worked with this. You guys, if you've seen Love Child, there she is in the, the green and gray, it's great. But this is uh, merino, yak, and silk. Right. It is so awesome. Little tip though, if you ever wanted to know what yak smells like, when you block it, you'll find out. Because <laughs> it smells like yak. You can never get away from the yak attack. <laughs> um, I have also Shiny Happy, and somebody did a very nice scarf for me out of my graffiti colorway. Oh, this is the graffiti. It's the speckle yarn. Graffiti, yeah. You guys will probably recognize some of this stuff because I've knit a lot in Miss Gail's yarn because it's gorgeous. And then I have Wonder Sock, which is a very standard sock yarn. It's mm -hmm. got a lot of nylon content in it. For making so it's socks. Great for socks. Yep. And Bits and Bobs, which has little I love this. Of I haven't. Yes, I'm sorry, I just talked over Gail. No, okay. Slubs of rustic color. I love this Tweety stuff. I haven't figured out what to do with it yet, but I'm gonna one of these days. Oh, and there, you might recognize that. And I'm sorry if it's too loud in here, but thank you so much, Gail, for letting us look at your you're stuff. Welcome, you're welcome. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. bye bye. So, here it is. This is the Atlanta Spring Fling. This is the third annual one. And I just talked to Arlene of Needle Nook and she said they have tripled in size since the first one. So, super cool, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, bye-bye.